we are creating a permanent home for our off-grid trailer. Day three, we just finished dinner. My wife wanted to go for a walk just before sundown and uh, study trees and collect pine cones. There's so many mosquitoes everywhere. <laughs> and those horse flies. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> We've been keeping it on the snowmobile trail the last few years and that is not a good permanent solution because we have to move it every year. We were going to put our trailer up in the clearing up there, but after pulling it up there yesterday and creating a gigantic plume of dust and feeling the total heat of it, we've now termed that clearing the desert. And we decided we definitely do not want to live in the desert. There's at least 10 degrees difference between up there and over here in the shade. And this will be a permanent site we like to put a little deck in front of the trailer instead of uneven ground. And I think this is going to be a beautiful place. So we're just clearing it up really nice with that and the Husqvarna chainsaw. When we do build over the next couple of years, we will be completely out of everybody's way. So a little bit more clearing and then we'll put the trailer here and it'll be its permanent home. are still good in the woods. Great energy drink after uh, using the chainsaw. Day four up here in the mountains. It's 6 a.m. We're out of coffee. My wife thought she'd pack some but uh, can't seem to find it. It's about a half an hour drive to the nearest store to get some. <laughs> This is all lumber we just got today for free. Uh, my dad had his deck done and the people who built it for him left all the scraps behind and we're gonna use it to build ourselves a nice little eight by 10 deck right under that canopy. And then I think I'm gonna try to screen it in because these bugs are horrendous. How you doing? Today's day seven, I think. I lost count. We're up here at the mountains. We went for a nice boat ride today on the lake. It was beautiful. The weather has been absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we're just hanging out here. It's about 10 o'clock at night, getting ready to go to bed. We have our camper in its new location. Sorry about the generator. We need it because we are going to now build a deck. And we're in a rush because tomorrow it's supposed to rain. So we only literally have tonight to do it, a couple hours. Between the two of us, I think we could pull it off. We're gonna do the best we can anyway. For two people in our 50s. Who don't do this every day? <laughs> we could do it. I know we can. It's really late and we're still working. Sunset, it's now pretty much dark out, but we are determined to finish this deck. Everything is pretty much done. We just have to, <laughs> we just have to get it all laid down. Is it wonky? Listen, it's free lumber. We basically had to buy a hundred and, I don't know, $40 worth of screws and stuff. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. So, we finished the deck last night in literally at five hours or less, actually. We started maybe around six-ish. We never even stopped for dinner. Uh, we worked until about 11 o'clock and we got everything put away and pretty much cleaned up as best as we could because we really thought it was gonna rain last night. So here's our camper, canopy's open. Fits right over the deck nicely. So today, Rich is gonna cut that. Hey, 
It's a struggle. Struggle is real. Day nine, here in the woods still, in the Kappa. No phone, no internet. We just have the generator for power. I built a deck, so that's good. My wife has a uh, screen kit that we're gonna screen in the deck. Honey? Yeah? I need your help with this screen. I can't get it off. Help me. We're also going to create a screen porch around the 10 by 8 patio we made. And I purchased three of these Magic Mesh Garage hands-free screen doors. They magically close. And here's the reason you want to keep the bugs out, because the bugs here are bad. So we needed three of them because they go for nine feet. And since we have eight by 10 by eight, Three of them will actually be just one foot over. So this should be perfect. Velcro comes double-sided sticky, so that's super convenient for us. We put the lock side on the canopy because we believe that that will roll up in the canopy better. All right, so far so good. So we have one side, a second side, and now we have to do the third side, and then we'll worry about the corners. It's already keeping the bugs out. Even with the small little gaps that are there, it doesn't matter. They can't seem to find their way in. Oh, this is just going to be amazing. We just extended our living area. It's so pleasant. It's like rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> because of the sag in the vinyl canopy, we have a little gap. And my wife is going to sew those up. it came with and we just tacked a few places around the edge of the camper to hold it in place and the bugs do want to come in I see a mosquito right on the outside I'm trying to get in right there and that's pretty awesome we now have an 8x10 deck with a beautiful screened in area so the bugs don't bother us right hun and it works. That's awesome. That like more than doubled the size that we have to to like live in and hang out in. So this is how we fill our trailer with water. It's our little homemade funnel it is system. What it is. So we have these five gallon jugs. It's almost full. Looks right. good. So now, we take this little cap. Look at the condensation. That's such cold water coming out of there. Oh, that's awesome. And bottle number two, that'll give us a nice 10 gallons. How do I look? Like a homesteader? Yes, you do. <laughs> We're going to fill up our tank and we'll heat it up and we'll get a nice hot shower. Yep, our hot water heater in our little camper. What about it? It works great. Buzz. It's fabulous. Okay, so there's the five gallon jug. And we have this little pump. It's a hand pump with a little fresh water hose cut piece attached to it, which we stick right in the tank on the back of the trailer. And it actually pumps fast. That's how we're filling our camper up. And the full tank lasts us almost a week. And again, we just use it for dishes, brushing teeth, washing up and showers.
I get to have my shower today. Richie's lighting the uh, propane heater to heat up the hot water. Turn that to pilot. Push down the pilot button. I would like, give it a minute to light because it's like that, uh, what do you call that, bimetal uh, strip that has to heat up before it lets the gas through. Okay, there's our pilot. And you're still holding that button down? No, I just hold it for a second until okay. it dies. Then we're going to turn it to on. Sometimes the pilot light will blow out, sometimes not. You hear the water heating up right now? And what will happen is when it's done, it'll stop heating, but the pilot light will stay lit until it has a demand for some more hot water. So we're just waiting now for that to be done, and then I can take a shower and Rich can take a shower. We do not keep the pilot light lit because we really don't use that much hot water. It's only when we take a shower. So we will turn off the pilot light and everything when we're done and the next time we want to take a shower, we'll come back and heat it up again. So we're trying to be very conservative with the gas that we use. This runs off propane. The gas is used for either the stove or the refrigerator when the generator's not running. It's got to be in the green, and it runs on either electric or gas, and right now it's on gas. And it's tiny, but it works. Good morning, day, I'm not sure what day it is anymore. We've been up here a while, up here in the woods. Yesterday we did a uh, whole bunch of clearing. We cut some trees down, moved a bunch of rocks, and made the campsite uh, much nicer. Every morning, uh, Kathy likes to go for a walk in the woods. We usually take a loop around the trail. Uh, today it's raining. We still went. I had on uh, sandals with socks. Poor choices sometimes, but we got through it. I haven't shaved in a long time. Kathy says she likes the beard, so we're gonna let it grow for a while. It's so itchy. We made a nice little platform for the generator, so it's nice and level. And we keep it under the canopy to keep it out of the rain. We use it to make coffee in the morning. And we use it to charge up the drill battery, the computers, the phones, even though we don't get any kind of an internet signal or a cell phone signal here, absolutely nothing. It's still good to keep everything charged up and that little generator is working great. Two years now. So this is our answer for the septic system. It is a Rhino tote tank. It's a portable RV waste tank kit. Towable by our ATV, easily dumped right up our hill in our septic system. Those rocks, and that's not all of them, came out of that hole where the tank is. So tell me what the problem was and what you had to do here, Rich. Rocks and roots. <laughs> and it was too high for drainage. So I dug sort of a, you could see, quite a bit of a hole to put it in so I'll have the proper pitch to get it out of there. And then what we're going to have to do is make a little ramp of dirt, you know, continue to dig up. And we'll pull it up and out, straight out this way with the ATV. We're going to make a little trail. So, one thing to know if you want this septic tank is a tank outlet valve, is that what you call it? Yeah. Has to be 14 inches above ground level, at least. She's installing the second vent cover for the roof to keep the rain out. We only had one up the other night when it poured and we ended up with a little uh, puddle in our kitchen. So we uh, just getting the second one done. Vent covers are great.
That feels much better. Yeah. You know, my wife and I, when we were close, it was kind of like abrasive. <clears throat> kind of like a wire brush. So, she was okay with getting rid of it. A little cleaning up to do, but our camp is set. This is our permanent summer home away from home. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.